Hi, I'm Ann Mooney. I'm a personal chef and a food writer. I write for Simply the Best magazine in Delray Beach, Florida, and I'm here today on behalf of Expert Village. What we're going to talk about is the eggnog that my father used to make at Christmas time. Now, this eggnog was a particular favorite of my grandmother and her friends, and the more they drank of it, the younger they felt. And I hope this would be the case for you, too. This eggnog is put together in rather a complicated fashion and then left in the refrigerator to age for a couple of days. And it is as smooth as silk, but designate the driver now. I'm going to read you a list of ingredients and then I'm going to tell you how it's put together. The ingredients include one cup of cognac, a half a cup of rum, a half a cup of bourbon, and a half a cup of dry sack sherry. Six eggs separated, and a quart of milk or half and half, if you want it. Now, the, you'll end up with three containers. In this container, I've combined all of the liquor. Right here, you end up with three cups of liquor. In this bowl are six egg yolks and the quart of milk. And in this bowl are the six egg whites with the three quarters of a cup of sugar beaten together until it forms stiff peaks. You can see that they're nice and stiff and glossy from the sugar. And what we're going to do is put them all together and then put them in a pitcher and let them sit in the refrigerator for two or three days. So here goes, we'll put the liquor into the milk and egg mixture. And then slowly, we'll whisk the milk and eggs into these lovely egg whites. A little bit at a time. So you're going to get this wonderful fluffy liquid and you don't want to overmix it. Leave some, leave some egg white lumps in there, they're fine. And the stuff will smooth out as it sits in the fridge. So there it is, looking just like clouds in your coffee. And you will definitely have clouds in your coffee when you drink this stuff. So Happy New Year. And here's what it looks like. And it will stay inflated like this with the egg whites. Not quite this much, but certainly it will some. And there you are. Cheers. Check out my other cooking tips on Expert Village.